this is always the fun part of a trip when you kind of just go exploring and stuff like that. Pretty bitching down here, isn't it? Loving it. It's a totally killer place. Um, kind of got to watch where I walk so I don't step on anything too gnarly. Pretty cool. Look at those little fish in there. together you know the nest which is made of moss so they'll strain out the moss when they eat the soup um, and what you're eating is bird spit uh, and then if hell uh, is made into plow and money you'll see bracelets and jewelry made out of turtle shells um, what they do is just heat the turtle shell and, and cut it uh, more than three years ago um, the crabs actually excavated this this entire skeleton out um, so now you can see the skull with the two eye sockets, the bridge of the nose. Teeth. Um, yeah, the teeth right here. Uh, and there are some other teeth around. Teeth. But um, we know these are the indicator that this is not Palauan. Um, What's the first thing you guys know? No beetle net? Exactly. No stained teeth. These are Again, the Palauan government um, has uh, basically left this here and has allowed us to bring people here and until an archaeologist is able to, to come in here and determine who this was, uh, they're going to you know, not allow any jabs. That heavy machine gun would have been pointing towards this channel, which we'll be going through in just a few minutes. Uh, That's the uh, bunker you're talking about. Searchlight. Big, oh, yeah. big light right here. But you can see trowels, uh, shoes, all sorts of... Uh, there are tools I'll show you in a few Some cans and stuff down here. Don't want to step on any mines. Whoa. Did you come over here and check this out? Yeah. This cave goes way back in here. Here's leather oh, tricky uh, stalactites. A boot or something like that. These are probably, this is probably part of the, the leggings um, in Japanese. I just ate fish, all the time. fish, arrow, tapioca, sweet potato, um, crab. Right in here. A little Japanese cave. And then there's some stuff back here that I'm going to have to turn on the night vision. It's uh, it's recording right now. Awesome! <laughs> Holy shit! That was awesome, man. Sweet. That was really good. I took my watch off. I This is on the way out. Uh, there's some over here. Oh, there's sharks. I'm gonna put the uh, camera away. It's night. We're gonna go check out the great Palawan outback. So come along. It's gonna be great. Eight Palawan amphibian. You can see it right here. It's a nasty little bugger. You gotta watch him because he's very fast and very tricky. If he pees on your hand, you can get all sorts of weird diseases. Get it. Yes. Get it. I got him. Look at this. 
He's a great find. He's a good little animal. Hmm. But what does over from a coconut crab? What happens is the coconut crab comes down and it's got one big huge pincher. It comes up and it husks this little sucker, breaks it open, and eats out the inside of the coconut. Things that snap your fingers right off. You gotta be really careful. We made it. Now it's time to catch some geckos. I just figured out a good way, so I'm gonna put my hat up to the top of the geckos and I'm gonna have them fall into my hat. It's gonna be quite amazing. Let's try one right now. There we go. There he is. It's a cute little specimen. If you can look at him, he's breathing just as hard as I am. Little, little guy's cute, ain't he? If you look right here, you can see his little claws. It means he can hold himself upside down all over the place. I don't know where he's at right now. He's probably going to climb up in my hair. Come here, little bugger. Come here. They also carry salmonella. So you got to watch yourself that you don't eat directly after playing with them. So you can get kind of sick. It's like eating a raw egg. Well, there's something you don't see every day. A frog and a snail side by side. Look at the size of that snail. It's huge. These are all husk coconuts. It's a perfect environment for a coconut crab. It's a nice little cave. Okay, it's kind of goofy, but I'm going to try to climb up this thing right here. And uh, if I can, I can. If I can't, I can't. That was pretty gnarly. I want to go up to this spot right here. It looked like there was a cave up there. Check it out. Another cave. I'm talking really quietly now because uh, a lot of rocks have fallen in here. As you can see, it's not a very stable cave. Those are all the rocks that have fallen, and a lot of them are really fresh. So they're not cutting up my feet or anything. So I'm gonna get out of here. Wait. Another thing, it's not too easy to walk across a cave like this with bare feet. Look at the view. I gotta cr climb down those banyan vines over there. So I got up. This by I'm standing in, as though we're a hundred years old. 
I mean, look at the intricate art. It's really pretty.